Hello. Welcome to YouTube. Are you a CCTV specialist, and, you're facing problem, with Honeywell, VMS? If yes, you're on right platform. Today, I'm going to show, a common, and, big problem in Honeywell VMS. Because, sometime we don't have much time, to take the support from Honeywell technical team, due to pressure from client. If you see this video till end, you can solve the issues in easy way. Without any ado, let's start the video. This is Alexa, behalf of Zuber, from Easy Robo Tech. Let's open Honeywell Max Pro VMS software by dual clicking on its icon. Login into the Max Pro VMS by typing correct username and password. Once you log in into the Max Pro VMS, you will have all the NVRs and cameras listed at left side on top under the devices. As you can see on my screen, all the cameras are offline and it's showing not available. It means there is no camera is available to show live view on Max Pro. Let me drag one NVR or camera onto the viewer screen. Let's see what it's give the error. As you can see on my screen, it's giving an error, that is, failed to connect to device, refresh display service to attempt recovery. Normally this error, due to no proper, synchronization, between NVR, and, VMS servers. Let's see, how to solve this kind of issues, in Max Pro. To do that, let's, go to configuration, then, go to recorders. Then, select NVR-01. Then, click on Update. Here, you will have basic integration details. Click on Ping button. If it's get in green color, it means there's no issue with connectivity. Then, click on Discover Devices. Once you click on Discover Devices, there should be a new pop-up window. But, as you can see on my screen, there is no pop-up window open. And, I have seen on top, there is an error message. Let's see, what it is. Failed to the discover devices, due to incorrect login, credential slash connection failed. It means, Max Pro unable to login into the NVR, due to wrong username, and, password. Now, click on close. Here, you will have username, and, password of the NVR. We need to verify it. To do that, minimize Max Pro. Let's connect NVR remotely. To do that, open remote desktop. Then, type IP address of the NVR. Then, click on connect. Once login into the NVR server remotely. Then, open Max Pro NVR software. To do that, do will click on its icon. Now select Windows logged in user to log in with administrator. Then click on login. Now we have login into Max Pro NVR with administrator. Drag the cameras on viewer screen to see cameras are online or not. As you can see on my screen, all the cameras are online in NVR. Now let's go to configuration. Then go to user. Here you can see all the users which is added. We want to connect Max Pro VMS through user as admin which is already added in the list. Go to password columns. Then change the password and make sure your password should be 12 digit in length. Then, click on Save. Now log out as Administrator. And, try to log in as Admin with new password.
As you can see on my screen, I have successfully logged in into Max Pro NVR as admin with new password. The same username and password we are going to use in Max Pro VMS. Let me drag all the camera on viewer screen. Then make it full screen. Then close remote connection. Let's go to Max Pro VMS. I will start configuration from same place where we have stopped earlier. Let's change the username and password which we have changed in Max Pro NVR. Then click on save. Once you click on save, it's giving a confirmation message that is the configuration have been modified. Would you like to change? Simply click on yes. Then Click on Discover Devices. A new pop up window will open. Uncheck Relays and Sensors. Then click on Add button. It will take some time to discover all the cameras connected with the particular NVR. Once it's completed, click on Close. Now let's go to Viewer Screen. Then Try to find the NVR01, which we have reconfigured just. And, drag it, onto the viewer screen. As you can see on my screen, all the camera connected to the NVR01, is online. Now, let me repeat the process for all the NVRs, connected to the VMS server. Let me show you, once I have repeat the same process for all NVRs, now all the NVRs, and, cameras are online, at MaxPro VMS. As you can see on my screen. Hope you learn new things from this video. If this video is helpful to you, hit like and do subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, let me know in comments section. Thanks for watching this video. See you in next video.